Hello and what is up YouTube? My name is G3Iron and I'm just checking in here with everybody. I haven't been around much because of course started a new job back in January. Uh, just bought a new house uh, back in March and moved to a new state uh, in order to start work. So yeah, whole bunch of life changing stuff. Oh yeah, and Mrs. Draconis and I of course had a, a new baby back in, uh, back in July of 2020. So new babies crawling around, almost walking. He's trying to stand up and really walk as much as he can. But anyway, some thoughts on the uh, manifesto. Basically, I, I was not shocked that there are so many nerfs in the manifesto because the last two to three leagues, maybe even beyond that, basically the last year and a half cycle, Grinding Gear Games has pretty much shown themselves uh, a new pattern of operating when it comes to patch notes and manifestos, which is basically, hey, the manifesto is going to contain most of the information about nerfs. That way, patch day can be, like, not a surprise uh, about the nerfs. So basically, you get all the anger and rage and frustration out on manifesto day, and then you just have kind of like excitement about patch, uh, patch notes day. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but that seems to be kind of the general trend of what GGG has been doing over the last several cycles. So I would assume that the same is going to be true for this 3.14 ultimatum cycle. In terms of my own gameplay and my own ability to play, I think this is going to be the first league sense synthesis that I will not be releasing recommended build starters. Uh, I just don't think I'm going to have the time to actually put together uh, a build starter video that would be in any way, shape, or form quality of, of really any level, <laughs> let alone the terrible level uh, that I've built up since, uh, since synthesis. I, it would basically just be me on the phone here while I'm driving home from work saying, hey guys, this is what I think might be good to start out with, uh, which of course there's always the old faithfuls. So uh, other than that, in terms of league starters, I won't be showcasing any league starters. I am going to be doing some more data-driven discussions this particular league since I'm going to have less time to actually play and engage on the forums and engage on Reddit and do all the normal reading that I do for Path of Exile. I'm pretty much going to, to stay pretty limited and pretty focused in our discussion topics. Uh, this particular upcoming league, for instance, there's probably not going to be any gameplay streamed. I just don't have time to do that at the moment. The time that I've got to play isn't going to be set up streaming because uh, it won't be dedicated with three or four hours of me sitting in front of the computer playing. It'll be, you know, an hour here or there when kids are asleep or before everybody wakes up and I'm not going to be streaming before everybody wakes up because a kid would walk in and be like, Dad, where's my cereal? So anyway, uh, other things for 3.14. I'm very excited for the lab rework. I think that's probably the thing that I'm most excited for because it shows us a hint that Grinding Gear Games about 6 to 12 months ago said, hey, we hear the community complaining about the lab, and so we're going to give them a rework. We're going to think it through. I think the use of using an offering to actually make a lab trial appear is probably the most SSF friendly thing that we have ever seen Grinding Gear Games do uh, in terms of an update to current ongoing content. We've seen them release new content and new expansions that were SSF friendly, but in terms of quality of life friendly for SSF based on old content, I think that's got to take the cake. If somebody else has got a better example, feel free to drop it in the, in the comments down below. So that is the plan. Uh, over the first week, of course, we're going to try to talk about some of the build starters that are out and we'll take a look at some of the trends that are out that'll probably be a week after launch or so uh, i am hoping to have another video come out at some point this week but uh, again i'm just not sure if i'm gonna have the time and it will most likely not be a build recommendation video anyway thanks so much to everybody for all of the comments and all the questions on discord and on youtube just wondering where we're at things are going really really well here i just don't quite have a rhythm figured out yet uh, to be able to include too much time for for PoE and PoE, as you guys know, is such a massively knowledge-based game. I, I I just cannot spend the time right now uh, in order to really maintain knowledge of PoE and therefore have knowledgeable discussions. So that's right now why I'm really not pumping out that many discussions. The discussions that we do have, I hope, will be good in terms of quality rather than having a ton in terms of quantity. Last year. Just had a ton of extra time uh, due to, uh, of course, the pandemic and then a the couple of years before that due to the work situation that I was in. So new work, new job, new house, new baby, new state, 
and of course a new league, which I am excited about and I look forward to playing once it drops in the amount of time that I will have to play it. So thanks once again so much for everybody's support, for all of our Patreon supporters for supporting us, and I look forward to catching you all in the next discussion that we have coming up later on this week. And I do hope that a mirror doesn't drop for you this week in Standard. I hope that your mirror drops for you in 3.1 for Fall Ultimatum League.